Oh, man. Anyway, yes, 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 yes. Ago, when I used to take trotro to school, they call it trotro, you know, just plain trotro. And then now I hear you guys are trying to call it Trotsky and nonsense like that. Uh, I'm very, very glad that when people decided to take trotro to the digital social media medium, they stuck with them, the name trotro. So there's a big thing happening on social media now called Trotro Diaries. To amaze you what is happening with Trotro Diaries. Stick around as we talk to them. The founder and director of Trotro Diaries, put your hands together. Let's welcome Yao Odu. <laughs> Yao, welcome, welcome, thank you, thank welcome. You, you, and you. have a seat. Thank you. And you help me introduce uh, Stella Agble, who is says it's smart, so she has been working on most of our projects. She's been working on all Yes. Right. Put your hands together, let us welcome Stella Agli. <laughs> Stella, welcome to the show. All right. Thank you. Okay. So, we are in the house. Trotro Diaries. Hey, then stick around. We'll be right back. Like a famous robot once said, I'll be back. Stay tuned for more KSM. <laughs> KSM show. Welcome to the show again one more time. I, I like this part, you know, that uh, you, you take Trotro to work every day or used to. I don't know. Maybe I've seen a car back. I don't know whether <laughs> that's your, you know. <laughs> but used you used to. to. Yes. Okay. Yes. And then one day you had an experience on Trotro, and when you got to your job, you just put something on uh, social media. Yes about how you want to punch the hell out of the driver, <laughs> or you would have punched the hell yes. out of him if you were close to him. So um, it was some time back, I think somewhere in 2011, mm -hmm. I used to live with my parents. I was working at North Industrial Area. Mm -hmm. So you know this thing drivers do where they try to avoid traffic. They think they know so much. Yeah. So he wanted to avoid traffic. Yeah. And he ended up in the worst situation. <laughs> so here I was at the back seat. Um, normally after going through that, I'll get to the office, I would have a headache, I'd yeah. be tired. But this day, I decided to take a different approach. So I went on Facebook. I was a Facebook addict by then. And then I put on Facebook that this driver is really lucky that I'm at the back seat. But that if I was closer to him, I would have messed him up with all this macho, which I think has even improved by now. So for people that knew me, they, they got a joke. And yeah, I got, yeah. I think, about 200 comments, not just from Ghana, from Nigeria. Really? Uganda. Yeah, it was, it was really amazing. So that's where it all started from. Wow. Just putting, putting out there on social media exactly. and people commenting. Exactly. Exactly. So um, I think one other thing that helped was that I was part of this organization called ISEC. So with ISEC, we had a couple of um, Nigerians, people mm. from other countries mm -hmm. coming into Ghana. So once I put that trotter experience out there, they identified with it. Not just because of their visit, but then they also had similar, similar experiences on out there. And then it just caught fire. So at what point did you decide, let me elevate this now. Let me let this become a social media event. So I think after I did it for some time, um, I had other people expressing interest in them, wanting to share their experiences. Okay. So initially I was capturing it as Trotro Diary, which was just for me. But when other people expressed interest, I thought, okay, I mean, I also don't intend to take Trotros for the rest of my life. <laughs> so <laughs> let me push it out there so yeah. that other people can jump on board. Yeah. So I created a Facebook group. And then that's where I captured it as Trotro Diaries. Okay. But then for some time, it was still uh, just myself sharing experiences. The point where I think it probably uh, went crazy for me, or it became amazing, was when we got about 1,000 users, mm. which was, okay, that's, that's a lot of people. Mm. Then somewhere along the line, we had CNN come to Ghana and interview me on it. On, on it. And that was like, okay, I mean, wow. there definitely is something so bigger. So what did CNN pick up? What, what did they want to investigate when they came down? Okay, so CNN, I think they wanted to capture something on transportation in Africa. So Ghana happened to be one of the countries they were interested in. And what I think excited them was they put out a question as to uh, who they should interview in Ghana if they wanted to do something on transportation. So they left the post, and by the time they came back, their whole Facebook page was filled with speak to Yaodum from Trotra Dice <laughs> everywhere. Wow. Everywhere wow. was full of Trotra wow. Dice. So they decided they got in touch. Come and speak with you. Exactly. Exactly. And that, that was an amazing experience. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Show some love, man. <laughs> <laughs> and Stella, 
What are you doing with Fraud Fraud Diaries? Yeah, for now, we, we're using social media for good. We have um, a very large, um, a huge number now, about 26,000 You have 26,000? 26,308 as of my last count yesterday. Really? And still some pending, some, yeah. which we've not added to the group yet. So what we've decided to do is we have a project, it's a sanitation project, where we've looked at, we all, most of us sit in churches, I still sit in churches, and every day you sit in churches and you see people litter churches, they litter the stations, they litter our streets, and it's continuing like that. Mm -hmm. And every time we keep doing um, cleanup exercises, but the problem still persists. So we've taken up on ourselves to do a sanitation project mm. for stations and use our own amazing people of 26,000 wow. to do this project. Wow. Yes. Wow. So basically, Trotter Diaries now has actually become a platform to crusade for change yeah. and better practices. Exactly. Amazing. So um, initially, it was just about the experiences. Mm -hmm. Because for me, what, what was happening was that after going through that Trotter experience, I would usually get to work with a headache. Because <laughs> it's, it's very stressful. Mm -hmm. they, you have to fight to get on a Trotter. I remember one time at uh, Madina Zongo Junction, I was actually bullied by a lady. Oh, really? Which, yeah, I didn't expect, because she was, she was also as skinny as myself. <laughs> but, you know, once the trotter gets there, <laughs> people get crazy. <laughs> so, I mean, you go through all these experiences, the frequent stops, the traffic and everything. You, you get to work and you're already tired, which is not ideal because you're expected to be productive yeah, in the office. Yeah, and yeah. if you're tired when you get to the office, that's yeah. going to affect you. So, the idea initially was that, okay, what if we could capture these experiences with a touch of humor. Mm -hmm. So I'm in a trotro. Instead of taking on uh, all these stressful elements, I just yeah. go on trotro diaries. Okay. I read other people's experiences. I love So we we'll put, put the experiences there. Exactly. Humorously. Exactly. So people can just enjoy the whole That was the whole interesting. idea. Interesting. The whole, that interesting. was the whole idea. But um, it's interesting to see that we've gone beyond that. That's where I started people sharing experiences, but we've gone beyond that. Now it has what I call two heads. So we have the technology side and we have the project side. So the project side is what Stella mentioned. Mm. On the technology side, we, we began thinking quite crazily. So what we are looking at doing now is we're actually thinking about coming up with a mobile app. A mobile app? Yes. The idea is this, okay, so whatever is happening on uh, Facebook now is an amazing experience that's um, familiar with Ghana and other African countries. So we thought about it, and the idea was that, okay, why should we leave this just as a, uh, as a Facebook group? Mm. We can also create something that would turn out to be something amazing. Mm. So we said, okay, what if we create a mobile app that would have some interesting features, mm. right? So we looked at it. We looked at the kind of experiences that people were sharing. So we'll still have the humor experiences mm -hmm. that people share on one side. Then we looked at, okay, what other issues do people have with trotros? If, say, I wanted to get here. How do I even get here? There's no structured information or structured way for you to know. So then we came up with this idea that, okay, what if the app could make it possible for somebody to just input their destination and we would be able to tell them that, okay, take this structure and it will get you there. Really? So that's one of the things that <laughs> we, we are trying to do. We're actually working on the app and probably in about a month or two, it should be ready. And there's one other crazy one where we are hoping to make it possible for people to also book trotros. But I wouldn't talk about On much. the app? Yes, on the app. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. We actually tested it somewhere last year. So what uh, would you, what do you exactly do? You want to go to trotro and then you... So for now, the one we're experimenting with is that we have all these um, social groups like churches, um, mm -hmm. companies, mm -hmm, all, mm -hmm. all these groups of people that mm -hmm. go for weddings, okay. they go for funerals and all that. So the idea is that these people normally take a trotro, they get some form of bus mm -hmm. to carry their people there. So what we're saying is that, okay, this thing's already happening. What if we can optimize it, make it easier for people to do this? Mm. So you just go on the app. Okay, we have this number of people. On this day, we want to move from this point to that point. You just put it on there. We have a relationship with a lot of trotro drivers now. We just get you a, a, a car that fits what you want, and then it takes you to wherever you want to get to. So that's the first part. <laughs> the crazy part is we are looking at making it possible to have a system which people can just subscribe to. It takes you to work and back, but we haven't got into that point yet. You'll get there. You'll we'll get, get there. there. <laughs> <laughs> Show some love, eh? <laughs> wow. So it's amazing. It's amazing what can just start from a single comment. Exactly. You know? Exactly. This is how 
great things happen. Exactly, exactly. You know? And to think of it that it was just one, one Facebook post. Facebook post. Yeah. Social media is amazing. Stella, what do you have to say? I mean, in terms of uh, where you want to take Trotro Diaries, the apps you're developing. And okay, yes. I know you're also mentioning a cru crusader. Because I gave, I, I was writing to somebody who is a Trotro Diary person. And uh, she says uh, she has signed a commitment not to litter. Yes. As part of the sanitation project, we have an um, the educate. We have, it's in three phases: the educative aspect of it. Then that is where the I commit she was referring to you yeah. comes in. Where um, already members have already started because we feel that if anything should start, it should start from us as the yeah. individuals. So yeah. we've started signing online on. Um, Church Diaries website, I commit, um, I commit, 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 yes, where you go sign up and say that you commit as a person not to litter, hmm. not in the transport, uh, uh, not in any bus, not on the streets, not at home too. So that is the education part. And then we'll also do a sanitation project with the stations. Our amazing members have also decided that they would adapt stations. So they have teams, and then they've also adapted stations. They've gone there to do the first phase of talking to the drivers and the station masters and all that. That's, that's really impressive. Yes, and after that, they will go do a cleanup exercise with them. Then after that, with, um, we're also working on the recycling aspect mm, of mm, the whole thing. Mm. Yeah. Because well, yeah, show some love, man. Right? <laughs> <laughs> but the funny thing was that this was about to throw. It's, oh, Sorry, I've signed a commitment not to litter. And wow. they actually, yes! Wow, 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 wow. wow. I said, really? Wow. We have to show some love. Yeah, so, I mean, that, we, we, we've been thinking about this thing for some time mm. because for us it was that, okay, almost every other moment, people are on social media. Yeah. Whether you like it or not, yep. people are spending time yep. on there. So the idea was that, okay, how do we make it useful? We have so many amazing people. On, on social media. Last year, we actually did um, a bit of it. We went to Kaneshi Station and then uh, we donated some dustbins to them. Mm. So mm. this uh, current project is actually a build up on that. So what we are doing now, as Stella mentioned, we have people on Trotro Dice, people that are ready to volunteer. Mm. We're broken them into teams. So I think for the first phase, we're going to probably engage about 10 Trotro stations. And what happens is that these members that are volunteering go to the stations, but before they go, they go on icommit.trotrodice.com because change must start with us. So you commit not to later. As uh, it's good to know that it's working. <laughs> you commit. <laughs> then we go to the stations. We educate other passengers as well as the station executives and the drivers and their mates. Then the next phase, so it's like in three phases. We educate. We get people to commit. That way we are reducing the amount of letter that gets in there. Then we come in again. We clean up. But we know a lot of people have done so many cleanup exercises. Yeah. So then yeah. the question was, how do we make it sustainable? Yeah. So now yeah. we're looking at a way of recycling some of this waste mm. to make sure that it is a sustainable project. So that's, that's some of the stuff that we Put your hands together, man. Show some love. Beautiful. Beautiful. Let's get personal. So what do you do now? Okay, so I'm a key account manager for a brand called Hilti. It's oh, this is related Hilti. to okay. construction stuff. Okay. Yeah, so that's what I do eight to five. Oh, really? And then six to nine. Trotro Diaries on the weekend. <laughs> Trotro Diaries. Wow. Yes. Family or you are still single? Um, and currently single speaking to somebody. Oh, I like that. I like that category. <laughs> single and speaking to somebody. <laughs> yeah. Single okay. and speaking to somebody. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And how is the speech going? It's going great. Going great. Going great. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, as our politicians would say, we are making progress. You are making progress. Yes. And it was also in the pipeline. Yes, yeah, in the pipeline. <laughs> Stella, single and speaking or not single? <laughs> single and not speaking. <laughs> you are not speaking at all. Not speaking. Why? You haven't found people to speak to? Um, I'm still looking through and really selecting people to speak into, to into um, slots and to, to ensure that I don't speak to the wrong people. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah, it was, it was so great having the Trotro Diaries. On this platform, and is, uh, I'm, I'm very happy because the in thing now is social media. Yeah. Definitely. You know, and so to take that in thing now and try to do something constructive, who would have thought that Trotro Diaries, a single uh, post, state post, will end up being 
an instrument for such great change. So you have done well, man. Thank you. Keep it up, man. Thank you. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. <laughs> and Stella, oh, I forgot the last one. <laughs> Stella, I'll do it from here. All right. So stick around, folks. Go to, what's it? iCommit.TrotroDiaries.com. iCommit.TrotroDiaries.com. It's on the screen right now. Go there and commit. And do not let that again ever in your life. Stick around. We'll be right back. If you're having as much fun as I am, stay tuned. If you're not, you need deliverance. We'll be right back. ASM Show.